Hi, my name's Caroline and welcome to this video. I thought I'd do a bit of a day in the life um, kind of style vlog, show you what I get up to on my days where I get to solely focus on my small business as an illustrator and uh, self-employment. I do have a normal nine to five job that I work part time, which ends up being about four days a week. Um, two of my days are kind of half days, so I do get a little bit of the time on those days to also do a bit of artwork, but not quite to the same extent as my full day off, where um, I really try to focus and get lots of th stuff done um, and use my time as effectively as possible. Um, not all of these days look the same. I do find from week to week they're quite different, depending on what's coming up. Um, so at the moment I've got a craft market coming up in two weeks. I'm doing um, Craft and Fleece Lancaster one. I'll have all the information linked down below if you'd like to find out more about it. But yeah, I'm quite excited for that. So today I'm kind of thinking on what um, maybe some newer products I can make to bring there. And then in the next couple of days, I'll probably be working on making sure I've got enough products of my current ones. And um, I also need to get a few new bits for my setup, I think, because the last one I went to was an outdoor market in December and a few little things got a bit damaged because of the wind. So um, I'm going to buy a few set up bits I think to kind of improve my display a bit more especially for stuff like print so I'm quite excited to get into that but um, for today's video I'll just show you what I typically get up to um, and yeah so let's just get into this video shall we So I always start off my Tuesday with getting out of the way, the weekly kind of house prep stuff I like to do. So I do a big clean of the room to make sure it's all clear, ready for me to do my illustrative work because I do work within my room. Um, and then I also do bits like just get the clothes washed done. And I always prep my lunches and breakfasts to save time later on in the week. So especially for my half days, once I get home, it's time to eat. And so I save time if the lunch is already ready and then I can just get on straight away with my illustration work afterwards. Um, I started off this day with some admin work, specifically kind of like finances with the tax year um, coming up the end of year. This will be my first time doing it, so I'm a little bit nervous and um, I definitely have thought of ways to improve for next year with the actual keeping track of my finances. Um, but it's all a learning curve and I'm um, excited to try and improve and keep on track of it for the next year. But yeah, uh, so I also kind of set a time limit for this admin work. I just find it helpful to in motivate me to get it done quicker. And knowing I've got creative stuff to do later always um, helps with me getting it done. Then I did some editing of a TikTok, which I actually posted the same day, which you see on screen now. It's kind of just using the viral sound with showing my products. Um, next, I kind of prep all my Instagram slash Facebook posts for the week. So I try to do one photo post per week and then um, about three reels. I'm using my old TikTok content for the reels and um, I tried to keep my posts with new stuff but this was um, actually an old sketchbook page I did um, last year which I'd never ended up sharing and I was a bit behind with creating new artwork so I didn't have anything new to share so I thought I'd share this page as it's actually one of my favourite pages in um, my sketchbook and then after this I wanted to have a go at trying to create some new clay products. I'm specifically thinking of doing some like earrings, key rings, maybe some brooches. Um, but you'll see here that this was a bit of a fail because the clay I've got here, I've had for over a year, maybe two years. And I kept putting off like using it because I just didn't know like what to make and now that it's finally time to use it it's too dry and I wasn't able to work with it but um, since this video I've bought a new pack so I'm excited to actually try and I'm not going to waste time waiting so that's a bit of a learning lesson there to just do things when you've got them because you might ruin uh, the product by not using them same with like pens and that they might dry out by the time you get around to using them so it's just best to crack on and have a go with it um then once I'd had lunch, um, I took a small break to watch 
um, a TV show. So I've been watching One Day on Netflix and I recently finished it and I quite enjoyed it. Um, I knew the story already, so it wasn't as much of a surprise for me what happened at the end, um, just because I've seen the film and I've currently started reading the book now. I just thought it'd be fun to compare the three, so I'll let you know which is my favourite format of the story later on. But here I'm just working on my iPad. Um, these moths are actually a sticker set that I sell, but I've had interest in the past um, from people asking if I, I would sell it as a print, so I thought I'd turn it into a print. And um, I also sell it as a bookmark, so I kind of base this print design off what I have it as as a bookmark, which um, I have lots of purples in the background. So I just played around with that, added some stars and some dots. It's um, I love kind of adding those extra details and like kind of like embellishments and patterns to my work. Um, it's definitely something I enjoy. Um, going a bit over the top with patterns you can even see on some of the wings of the moths here that there's a lot of like mark making and patterns on them just because I find it very therapeutic but yeah I tried out several things with um, the background of this I was a bit indecisive but in the end I kind of kept it simple um, so you could have all the focus on the moths and um, I really like how it turned out um, in general um, it, I'm starting doing new prints so this is an A4 print I'm doing and I've also come up with two other designs as well some from some old paintings one is the um Instagram post that you saw me editing it's that piece and then another one is a um kind of mermaid painting I did last year which you'll see in a minute in um, the next upcoming clips um, I was actually testing out some free photo paper that came out with my printer um, and I can't lie, I really love the finish. I never thought I'd really print my own prints, I've always outsourced them just because I want the best quality possible but this paper and my new printer, the way the colours look on it and um, it's just so clear and it's got a nice gloss to it. I just really love how the prints turn out and um, now I think I'll be obsessed with trying to come up with as many print designs as possible. Um, it makes it more affordable for me to do more design options because I can print a limited amount of designs, see which ones are more successful and continue making them versus the ones that aren't successful to stop making them. So it's a lot more cost effective in the long term. So I've recently just bought some more paper and um, I'll stock up with some for my next market, which I, like I've mentioned already, is the 6th of April um, in Lancaster, it's Craft and Flea. So um, when you're watching this, it's actually the weekend coming. Uh, so if you're in that area and um, interested to have, visit a cool market, I recommend there's a lot of fun creatives and it'd be great to see you there. So um, once I'd done these test prints, I started um, working on a new sticker set design pack that um, I'd like to create. These are of some fun cats and hats. Um, I did this as a sketchbook page um, earlier in the week and I just really liked how it turned out so I thought it'd be fun to make them as stickers. Um, so I, what I do with um, my sketchbook drawings I take a picture of them and I put them into Cro Procreate and I kind of trace over the sketch. I normally do my finish line work over the sketch rather than sketching it out again. It depends what the drawing looks like. If I feel like the proportions are off I'll do a sketch on top and then line work but typically I try um, to get the sketch right, right in the beginning in my um, sketchbook and then I can line it straight away and once that's done I'll just add colour. Um, so I experimented a bit more with this one. I normally use the dry br brush for my outlining um, but I thought I wanted to test out something a bit different and I'm quite li liking the more sketchy look so I thought I'd go with something that's got more texture to it which was this um, I think it's a 6B pencil so there's a bit more kind of like of a graphic look to the outlines and um, I did try starting to colour it in with the same pencil to add more texture but um, I'm not too keen on it so I've gone back to the studio pen which is just a bot colour so I'm going to do the base that way and then maybe I'll try the 
be out again to just add texture on top of the shading i think i like the look of that a bit more um, i think i like it having a solid base so it's all colored and then maybe explore with adding texture on top but yeah i had a lot of fun um with this spread kind of coming up with different hats and um I, when I was looking for my references, I tried to look for expressions that I thought would work for each hat. So with this clown one, you see me outlining, I tried to go with something a bit more sad. I also did a cowboy cat where um, I gave him quite a serious expression. And I tried to utilise his whiskers to look like a moustache, which I thought was really fun. Um, what else did I do? I did a chef's cat where it's got his tongue out, he's quite hungry. Then I've got one that's a bit annoyed because he's in this like blonde wig with a pink bow as if he's been forced to dress up like that. Um, and yeah, I, I just had a lot of fun with it and tried to add some extra accessories to some of them. Like the clown one, I added a frilly um, neck piece to it. I forgot what they're called. Um, and then also I've done a cat with like a fun disco kind of hat, disco ball hat. So I added some funky sunglasses to him in a star shape. And yeah, I'm really excited to get the set done and keep your eyes out for my next vlog or two because um, I'll end up showing you the final result with it all packaged up and made into stickers. So I'm really excited to create them as a final set. And yeah, so after um, I finished this, I had my tea and then I normally go to the gym on a Tuesday as well. Um, with having a job, um like illustrating we sat down a lot i do try to keep active as much as possible during the week my nine to five is kind of the same it's more office space so um i do try to go to the gym about three times a week and do some walking and yeah so after uh, this was all done i did spend the night rest of my night kind of chilling and if i've got some drawing to do sometimes i will do that otherwise um i tried to zone out from doing work and just relax ready for the next day whether that's reading or catching up with some youtube or stuff like that so yeah that's kind of an example of a day in the life of when i have the full day to work on my illustration work um thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one Bye.